Welcome back for my final daily report market analysis video with me, Richard Perry, market analyst at Handtech on Thursday, 13th of February. Looking at the gold chart, which, um, uh, yeah, you've seen a switch back into safe haven assets overnight um, as the uh, Chinese have um, reassessed how they measure the coronavirus, and it would appear that it is more prevalent than they previously thought. Subsequently, gold spikes higher, moved back into safety. Um, and that has pulled gold back above the 23.6% Fib level, 15 72 um, and sort of edges towards a more positive bias once more but I'm still sort of slightly concerned by it where we are still seeing this uh, downward slide on RSI downward slide on MACD lines and our stochastics are basically at neutral so uh, still fairly neutral on gold generally within the course of the past few weeks I think this is still going to be a, a turn into a range uh, formation um, above 1577 starts to make that um, positive bias a little bit more positive um, within this range. Uh, but then you really do need to see a market move above 1591, really, 1591.50 uh, being that reaction high from early Feb. Um, but as I said, there is just a slight positive bias that's now starting to come through. You need to see it through 1576 initially, but you sort of look at the hourly chart and there's not really that much decisive positivity to really um, push the market forward. This uh, RSI is sort of still oscillating between 30 and 70, the MACD lines. Just a shade above neutral, uh, adding to that positive bias, but to be honest, little real positive momentum to speak of. Um, and uh, the important thing I think you can probably also point towards is the fact that 1562, uh, this pivot line of the past two weeks, has again held as the basis of support and the market's moved up. So you could argue, breaking above 1576, that implies a, uh, a trading range breakout or a consolidation rectangle breakout that uh, would imply 15 bucks higher and what would that mean 1591 so a retest of that high would then be the case if you did break out above 1576 1577 so that would be your um sort of inference there today but for now we're still sort of trading within the bounds of the consolidation of the past week or so so there's a positive bias but not yet decisively so on gold still broadly neutral um and uh, we'll be interested to see if it can break out above 1576, 1577 though. So I wish you good luck in your trading today. Click here to subscribe to our analysis videos and go to our website to sign up for our webinars.